while we have already explored the idea of loving yourself, we should be able to do that in a sustainable way, right? And if we enjoy it and we love the things that we do, how do we stop ourselves from burning out when we actually get there? My name is Conrad, and I've embarked on the mission to live my best life every day. And this season, I'm traveling around Japan, focusing on a new aspect of self-improvement every week. It's time to level up. So welcome to our newest abode. We're over here now in Hakone. We didn't think we'd be here, actually. We uh, initially skipped Hakone for Igawara because we had heard that the hot springs there were nice and it was a quaint little town and basically all the same benefits as Hakone, except that it's not filled with tourists and foreigners. There is this amazing fireworks show here in Hakone. So there's this festival going on for the whole week and we're like, well, I guess we have to be here. We specifically chose a place that was a bit far out from the actual center of Hakone, where all the festivities are, the lakeside and everything, because we thought that this week is going to be a very important week for us to really put our mind and body towards working towards our passions. This week's all about vision, right? What is the vision that we have in our lives and how do we pursue that with our fullest ability? Seeking out different people to talk to that seem like they have confidence in knowing what they're doing, right? Pursuing the path that is seems most right to them. I'm so excited to talk to these people because I want to learn all about what makes them tick and what makes them pursue the things that they want in their life. I think for me, and maybe many of you guys can relate, I often find myself in cycles where I have a very high productivity cycle where I'm working, you know, 12 to 15 hour days on the things that I love. And I do that straight for, you know, a week, two weeks, maybe even up to a month, maybe even a year. And I burn out. It's too much for me. I can't handle it. It's not something that I can continuously do. And when I burn out, my productivity drops to a very low, perhaps even negative, right? I start doing self-destructive tendencies. While we have already explored the idea of loving yourself, right? Of being someone that takes care of yourself. How do you then integrate that with the whole idea of pursuing your passions and pursuing your vision to achieve the things that you want to achieve? We should be able to do that in a sustainable way, right? And if we enjoy it and we love the things that we do, how do we stop ourselves from burning out when we actually get there? That's something that I really want to explore this week and really just understand like, hey, every day, how do I sustainably pursue my passions in a way that loves myself, in a way that takes care of myself? And how do I meet people that, you know, exude these qualities so I can learn from them and hopefully distill those learnings over to you, our audience here, and, you know, just do our best to share the knowledge that we have and more important that the ways to take action on the things that we're learning because here I want to show you my way of approaching and tackling these problems. I want to show you how I've distilled all these best practices into something that makes sense and helps us every day continuously go forward. I think for me to pursue our visions this week is one, clearly define what our visions are, right? And where we want to go. I have created this vision board for myself and I'm going to try to get my sister to create one for herself as well. That really helps us focus on the future, less on a fear-based perspective, which is something that I've learned in the past uh, with Tim Ferriss's fear setting ideas, right? Where you kind of note down all the things that you're afraid of in your life and then you plan goals to tackle those fears. But I want to go about it from a vision perspective. These are all the things I want to be. These are the things I want to have. These are things I want to do in the future. And then distill them down to manageable goals that I can pursue with my fullest effort, right? Super excited to be able to do it that way. Um, I'm super excited to share things that I know with my sister and see how she takes it up. And most importantly, I'm, I'm excited to actually pursue them every single day, right? Picking one vision and say, what can I do today that's going to be a big win towards this? That's going to really move the needle? What's going to be a medium win? Something that satisfies like a process or some kind of, you know, stepping stone towards getting closer towards there? And then what's a light win in there that just makes me feel good? Something that I can just do that will be quick, that will be easy, that makes me feel like I am doing something towards my vision. And it's okay for you to organize them whichever way you want. Maybe you're someone that needs to do the hardest thing first and then go small. Maybe you're someone that needs to go easiest things first and get yourself a boost of energy and then go bigger. Or maybe someone that wants to go in between, right? You start medium and then you can choose big or low 
or after, depending on how you feel. Whichever way works for you, I'm very curious and you can comment down below, but I'm going to show you through this process every single day. I'm going to try to do three wins that really helps me get towards the visions that I want to set. And I want to show you how I plan and how I really take actions on those visions. I, I'm excited, guys. Uh, this is going to be the journey. And hopefully every day I'll show you both the wins and the failures of you know trying to pursue the things that we want, um, perhaps even not being able to do certain things, uh, even though we have planned it. But how do we navigate around that? How do we overcome these challenges? And how do we just live our best life while taking care of ourselves? Because living our best life doesn't mean just simply blindly pursuing our passions, but also means taking care of ourselves, loving ourselves, to the fullest extent and i hope that in this process we can be growing as holistically as possible because i think historically perhaps or maybe even you can resonate is when we pursue something a kind of narrow track mind we often throw away everything else oh we're pursuing our dreams i guess our health isn't going to be important anymore oh we're pursuing our health i guess we're not going to be pursuing our dreams how do we overcome that how do we stop a cycle where we have high productivity where we're taking care of ourselves, you know, on a career, on a growth perspective. But then in the cost of that, our health is deteriorating. And then we go back for our health, but then our career disintegrates a bit. So I don't want that. I want it to be natural. Most importantly, I want to have fun in this process. I want to feel like taking care of myself is a fun and enjoyable task to do. I want to feel not guilty for loving myself in the same ways that I want to make sure pursuing my goals is something that I don't feel guilty about and doesn't burn me out and makes me happy, gives me more energy. And every day I'm just doing more and more and more. So that's it, guys. I look forward to seeing you in this series. Um, let me know down below if you have any ideas you want us to pursue uh, during this time and we'll chat with you soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.